Hey guys, welcome back again to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy where the proof is in the singing. I wanted to do a vocal coach reacts to Pink Floyd and I chose Comfortably Numb. Now, uh, David Gilmore, the guitar player, uh, has been one of my all time favorite guitar players. And I know I say that a lot, but everyone has their unique thing, right? And this, hap this solo happens to be one of my all time favorite guitar solos. So not just him being a guitar player, but guitar solos. Um, what a great song. Now, Pink Floyd was one of those kind of really ethereal, theatrical sort of, you know, groups, they always had gargantuan shows. I mean, and the wall of sound. In fact, the album Pink Floyd, The Wall, I think is the is or was the longest t running top 40 album of all time. So that should tell you about how much they've influenced people. Now, I actually got to work with the producer, his name's Bob Ezrin, who did Pink Floyd, The Wall. Ironically, it was on a Kiss record. <laughs> but uh, anyway, and so I uh, got a chance to see behind the scenes of some of this stuff and how some of this stuff was done. Uh, not this album, but um, uh, some other subsequent stuff. So let's just go ahead and do it. I haven't seen this yet, so I'm trusting you. Wow, it's nine minutes almost. Well, the normal song, I don't remember it being that long, so I may have to cut some of the end of it if it gets too monotonous. But um, anyway, let's just fire it up. Here we go. Oh, and they were known for their lasers and, you know, I forgot about that. In fact, that was the around the, the wall time. See what I mean by right out the gate, big show. like a rock opera. Now right away I get the feeling uh, as I'm watching this that it's I don't know what song number this was in the set But it, you know, they are like I said, they're kind of like the original rock opera the original goth guys You know from way back when and they've sedated the audience to a point where they're just like mesmerized by all the lights and just the the the, the, just the wow factor of the song itself and just how you know kind of it's kind of creepy too And actually that whole album's a little creepy, but uh, let's continue I love how it goes from major to minor key, really changes the emotion of the song. It's my buddy David. But I can't hear what you're saying. So do you see the emotion they evoked throughout the whole thing? At this, they take you from this kind of ethereal, creepy minor key thing, and then they lift you up into this major key thing. But the lyrics are still pretty dark and morose. Like it, the whole thing is, uh, go through and read them, and you'll see what I'm talking about. The whole thing is like a rock opera. Um, and you know, there were a few bands he liked that. The Who did that, especially British bands. But uh, very interesting. Very again, very mesmerizing. Listen to this guitar solo. It's not the part that I like, but it's still great.
One more side note for you guitar players out there. So Bob Azrin told me that when they were doing this, that what David would do is he would go into the studio and he'd comp a bunch of tracks. So he'd just play through it and play through it and play through it and play through it a bunch of times. And then he'd just kind of listen back and then he'd say, you know, I like that part, but I don't like this part, but I like this part. And he would go through and he'd make a comp track of all the guitar parts. Then he'd have them make a tape of it or whatever. He'd take it home and learn his own guitar solo. <laughs> I kid you not. Uh, so I thought that was kind of interesting because most people just go in and they, you know, cut it here and cut it there, whatever. He wanted to really absorb the song and uh, really be emotive with his playing. So it wasn't about playing great fast licks or, you know, being uh, super dexterous. Um, it was about the emotion or the emotive um, uh, guitar playing. So uh, I found that fascinating. Creepy dark stuff. The other thing I like about this is it's so melodic. Even though it's it's got its, you know, dark kind of back and forth kind of stuff, it's very, very memorable and very melodic. And, you know, you're not looking at these amazing singers or anything, though David Gilmour is an incredible guitar player. Um, uh, it, how, it, how it all works together is just staggering, just stunning to me. I tried to look, but it was gone. I cannot put my finger on it now. The child has grown, the fear is gone. And I, I could go comfortably now. Okay, so have you noticed that, um, Unlike a lot of other bands where they're just really hypey and they're selling their songs and they said this is like an experience. So when you go to see Pink Floyd, you don't go there uh, to be hyped out or you don't go there for you know all the craziness. You go for there for this like really ethereal experience, and um, I think that's pretty interesting because it's hard to hold people's attention that way. Here's my favorite guitar solo. I remember when I first learned this. Looks like a spaceship. <laughs> Again, you're not hearing him go through anything super dexterous. He's playing for the song, right? And it's just every it's about everything. It's not just about one guy. It's really cool. I'm waiting for my super favorite part to come up. He's, he's, he's taking his time to get there. Cool lights.
Come on, David, get the. This must be it. Not yet. Those guys are getting their money's worth out of those lights, man. Okay, now for those of you guys that know the record, and you know, you guys that are, uh, you know, are singers or more entertained, want more of an entertainment value, I'm speaking to the guitar players here. Um, what's fun is, again, he's going off and he's, um, got a lot of different licks than what are on the record and um, I really like the fact that he can hold his own and just keep creating, keep creating, keep creating. Um, that's awesome. Favorite part. All right, this goes on for another two minutes. I'm not sure what happens at the end, but I'm assuming it's gonna stay instrumental because there's no more uh, verse or chorus left that I know of. Anyway, again, Pink Floyd just ruled the world, you know, dinosaurs that ruled the world, and this was just phenomenal as far as going to show like this. I never got to see these guys alive. It was a bummer. Um, I had a couple opportunities to, and the tickets were really expensive. Um, but anyway, I wanted to, but man, if you could just see how grandiose this whole thing is, and again, his ability just to comp on guitar and, and whatnot is phenomenal. So thanks again for joining me, Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy, where the proof is in the singing. And until next time, peace out. Hey guys, if you like what you heard, please like and subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button. That will actually take you to another page where you want to click on the bell icon and it opens up a menu and the menu has notifications on it where there's a little box you can check where it says send me all notifications for this channel. Check the box and then click the save button and you'll get notifications from me every time I have a cool video come out. Okay? Thanks guys. Peace. Out.